on October 20th. The American Society of Human Genetics held its annual meeting and the conclusions reached easily can be described as amazing. The data collected show that people of Melanesia an area in the South Pacific that involves Papua New Guinea and neighboring islands may be leading some foreign genes into their DNA geneticists believe that DNA recognized not belong to a previously unknown species of humanoids. There is an alien code in our genes according to Ryan Bolander, one of the researchers involved in this study. This species is not Neanderthal or Denisovan, but something entirely different. We are straying a population or are misinterpreting something about relationships, he said. The Denisovans represent a hominid genus belonging to extinct species. They were named after the discovery in the Denisova cave in the Siberian Altai Mountains, where the first bone fragment belonging to the species was found. Very little is known about this enigmatic cousin of ours. Human history is much more complicated than we thought, Bolander said. Oh yes, it is. But piece by piece, the last resort of humanity is brought to light. And discoveries like this seem to point in one direction, we could not be who we think we are. Here is a quote from the study, that I think you'll appreciate, with the assumptions about the size of the population and the most recent dates of separation of the population taken from the literature, we estimate the date of archaic modern separation in 440,000 plus or minus 300 years ago for all modern human populations. If that number does not ring any bell, let us reiterate the Anyaniki hypothesis. According to the story of Genesis, the 12th planet, known as Nibiru was populated by humanoid beings very similar to us humans. After a severe problem found in the atmosphere, they were on a quest through the solar system to find gold, a special metal, that could cure your planet. When Nibiru came to Earth orbit, Approximately 432,000 years before Christ, the Nibiruans used spacecraft to send people and essential goods from their planet to Earth. After reaching the surface, advanced beings established bases in ancient Mesopotamia. Many believe that this is the true creation station of humanity, in the laboratories of the Anyaniki geneticists. And this new study confirms this hypothesis almost daily. It offers a vision that could respond to one of our oldest and most important questions, who are we? In order to obtain a refutable secular solution to this enigma, we must dig deep where no one has dug earlier. But this is harder said than done. Another way to do this would be to analyze the microscopic records that are hidden within each of us. The Anyaniki knew that DNA was the key to engineering the perfect slave. In our endless pursuit of our true lineage, we as human beings must do the same. In a recent effort, another group of scientists came to a similar conclusion. Led by evolutionary geneticist S. Willerslev of the Natural History Museum of Denmark, the scientists examined DNA samples taken from 83 Aboriginal Australians. They also tested 25 participants from native populations of the highlands of Papua New Guinea. To their surprise, the researchers discovered DNA exotic, like Denisovan genomes in the study volunteers. Please note, the researchers only called it like Denisovan, but in reality, the group gave their genes to the ancestors of the participants is completely unknown. Who is this group do not know? Willerslev said. Neither did we, but a particular crowd comes to mind. It is not surprising that such discoveries are always made when the genome of remote populations studied. Over time, these isolated groups had little contact with the outside world. They lived and procreated within gated communities and this is reflected in their genome. More rich and diverse as is their ancestry, the less likely that individual genes remain unchanged. In the case of Aboriginal Australians and Melanesians, isolation means fewer genes were altered throughout their existence. 
It is not difficult to imagine this alternative version of our past. The Enyan Naki arrive on Earth, play God and create humanity. Enki chief scientist and the chief medical 90 use genetic manipulation and in vitro fertilization to create human beings in his own image. They use to humanity to serve their purposes, and when it suits them, dispense destruction, as a deluge of biblical proportions. Some elected humans are protected by a faction of the Indian Naki who decided to go against protocol. Survive and spread in all corners of the globe. Thousands of generations pass, and the genomes of those who socialize more mixed beyond recognition. But in some places, the flame still burns creators.